your hands to Jesus Christ you know when we're in his presence the biggest thing we ever do is to give him the praise and the glory and the worship we have just come here to thank God to appreciate him for his goodness and mercy for who we are we for who we are once dead in trespass and sin but his mercy and glory and grace took us out from the perishing road to a place of eternity and everlasting life. And we just come in his presence again and again just to thank him and to praise him and to worship him. When we remember of how our lives used to be, when we remember of how he could not count of our faults, how every time he's not tired of us, but all the times to bring us back to him. When we lost, he looks for us and brings us back to him. And we have just come here to say you alone deserve all the glory and you alone deserve the praise. And we thank you, Father, for all what you do for us. For you defend us. For you defend us. Even in the places we don't need you to. For you love us. Even in the places, oh Lord, we don't even deserve to be loved. Father, you forgive us. Even in the places we don't deserve to be forgiven. We have come here, Father, in your temple to appreciate who you are. To appreciate what you have done for us. You heal us whenever we are broken. You take us out of every misery. You even pay for our bills. You are in control of our lives. You are in charge of our lives. For this reason, we have come here to appreciate you. For this reason, we have come here to honor you. For this reason, we have come here to clap our hands for you. To raise our voices and to raise our hands and to shout, You alone deserve our praise. The glory is you.
Glory, that we sing you alone. 